We're making some chili today. Chili, 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 food, chili. Yeah, I'm crazy. <laughs> we are starting off with some Mick Cormick's chili seasoning, hot and mild, and also three cans of Bush's chili beans with a mild sauce. I can't handle very much spice, so I try to keep my chili not too spicy. And then I did buy two large cans of crushed Hunt's tomatoes. I believe it's 28 ounces. I can't remember, to be honest. <laughs> A really good and easy way to slice onions is to slice them all in one way, but not all the way through completely. And then turn it to where you'll then have a perpendicular line with it. I think that sounds right. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not very good with my math. But then once you do slice it both ways, you can then easily slice off completely and it will already have a diced effect of the onion. And like you can tell right there with the squaring, that is how it should look before you completely slice it off. Ta-da! You have diced onions. <laughs> and the recipe does call for just one onion. And then after when I get done browning the meat, I then put it into another pot where I will be putting everything in. And then here's the onion. And I just let that, let the onion, onions, <laughs> the chopped up onion for like two or three minutes. And I just, I put that on high for the onions. I am then adding the crushed tomatoes that I have. It's Hunt's. I actually have never used Hunt's. This is the first time that I'm using Hunt's. Get that all out. They are 16 ounces. McCormick's chili in the mild and hot. I wanted to get the mild and medium, but I couldn't find the medium. So let's just go ahead and add these. And then after you do mix it all together, you'll want to turn it down to a low and let it sit for at least 30 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes. And you'll want to periodically stir it so that it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pot and as you can tell this is a very large pot and it really does make a lot so if you have a large family it's a really easy yummy recipe to do for multiple people even for like a party or a get-together And then you just want to keep stirring 
and stirring, and stirring. <laughs> I'm kidding. But yes, you do want to make sure it's all mixed in there really good with the seasoning and everything. And then, like I said, just let it sit and make sure it's on a low temperature for the 30 minutes. And I, yeah, that's about it. Please do leave a comment below if you do choose to make this trilly. Trilly. It's not really weird. But yeah, <laughs> I hope you all do enjoy it if you do make it. And I will see you in the next video. And there will be other links to my other accounts that I have where I would love to meet all of you and talk and chat. For example, Twitter and Instagram. Oh my gosh. I love Instagram. I've gotten so hooked on it. It's insane. But yeah, I will see you all in the next video. Enjoy. Bye.